Hey again, everybody. Um, this is my video for the genogram uh, assignment that we did. Um, the way that I'm going to explain this to a client um, would be that um, first I would, would make sure that the client was uh, older, preferably over the age of 18 or 21. Um, the reason that I say that is because I think that a, a younger client might have difficulty um, on being able to understand the visual representation or the outcome of the genogram. Uh, it might also be a little bit difficult for them to gather information from the family because not all adults, whether they be parents or aunts or uncles or grandparents, want to share certain types of family information or personal information uh, with the younger crowd. So it might be difficult for them to gather all of the information that they need to complete um, the project. Um, and I also think that this particular activity would be something that would be really useful or healing for an individual who has been adopted. Um, maybe they need some clarification or perspective on family dynamics, uh, mental health issues within the family, whether it be themselves or other people, issues with addiction, um, different things like that. I think that, that this particular activity could really benefit people that are sitting in that kind of a position. Um, so the way that I would explain it is that this activity is just basically to give like a visual um, timeline, kind of what their family looks like from a broad perspective. And the information um, can kind of be tailored to that individual specifically is if there's like one particular area in like in particular that they want to look at, whether it be um, relationship issues, you know, is there a long running line of uh, multiple divorces or are there multiple people in the family that have been adopted or had mental health issues or, or whatever it may be that they're looking at, you can kind of tailor the activity um, to that specific information. But overall, if you're just wanting to do uh, the activity as a whole piece, I think that um, they should really focus on marriages, divorces, um, parental relationships. How many children did all of those children stay in the home? Were any of them adopted? Were any of them lost due to custody issues? Um, births, deaths, mental health, addiction, um, all of these things that we've discussed. Um, you can even go even further into in depth about, you know, uh, in, in the death for example, was it cancer? Was it old age? Was it um, an accident? Um, all of that type of information is going to be really helpful in creating this timeline and giving them a really good perspective of what their family history looks like. And it can also help them to understand where they are presently at their place in life. Um, one note that I do want to make about this activity is that as social workers, we need to be aware and mindful of the fact that dealing with this type of information um, could be very triggering for certain clients. So that's something that we need to take into consideration um, prior to doing the activity and also discuss that with the client so that they're aware of it as well.